I wanted to go over this week's st uh, case study is uh, Larry Puglia and the T. Rowe Price Blue Chip Growth Fund. Very interesting case study, a $33 billion fund that um, had picked uh, blue, chip, blue chip growth stocks and performed very, very well. Had a performance of annual total return of 10.12% versus 9.1% of the benchmark. So this fund exceeded performance of the benchmark for a very, very long time. And the manager, um, Puglia, has done very, very well. And just learning a little bit about the different investment strategies, what does the accounting look like of the of the mutual funds connecting to what is the NAV, how do they calculate the NAV. Um, this is something where the funds look at their assets minus their liabilities divided by shares outstanding. The NAV is essentially their net assets. And what's interesting about that, even though it's an accounting situation, the assets get priced according to fair market value every day. So very interesting piece of how to account for taxes, how to account for capital gains, dividends, there's a tax component here that is very interesting. And the other theme that I wanted to bring up is this idea of clearly this is managed fund. There is an investment manager, a portfolio manager, a lot of analysts, and they're literally picking out stocks by analyzing them. Uh, the two strategies that they primarily use is fundamental analysis and technical analysis, where fundamental is really analyzing stocks, uh, more like Warren Buffett kind of connecting to the idea of buying, holding, long-term, very good quality stocks, as opposed to fundamental analysis is more about the timing, the trends, where the macro market is moving, taking advantage of a technical move in the stock, and using trends and charts to understand uh, when to buy or when to sell. So this was more of a fundamental analysis situation. And the other backdrop to this is the rise of passive investing. Is it worth it to pay more fees to a managed fund like this, to have the risk that it would actually not perform as well as the market? Or is it better to simply invest now in an index fund and have much lower fees? So this is something that is a big theme and we'll discuss more of that in the coming semester of talking about how what is better strategy what is the advantages of each and as a management accountant or a, a, fi a partner in accounting to a, a financial executive or an asset management how do you how would you look at the investment opportunities do you look at it more toward a managed fund portfolio or do you look at more toward a passive portfolio as well as the accounting ideas in this article regarding how to compute NAV and tax and we'll continue more about this in the coming discussion.